A warm welcome to everyone to our seminar regarding the voice of the next generation, celebrating the month of love and peace, and also commemorating the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. On this day, not only for the United States, but for the whole world, it is an eternal pain. Because so far, even 20 years have passed, a lot of influence and harm are still left till today. The war in Af An Afghanistan launched by the United States lasted for more than two decades and has taken away tens of thousands of people's lives. This piercing pain of historical tragedy reminds us all the time how precious peace is. And we must not forget our promises to love and peace, to respect each other, to protect human rights. We human beings must learn from the lessons of history and to never let this happen again in the future. Three days before on September 11th in the US, a famous TV station, MNN, which represents the Manhattan Neighborhood Network was playing a program one and a half hour talking about the 911 attack and also about a famous ridiculous case in Taiwan, which is the Taijiman case. So you could see how important Taijiman case is that the MNN broadcasted it for almost 10 hours in three days at that time. And next, we prepared a highlight of the program, and we'd like to share this video with all of you. Um, we would like to really start with revisiting the 9-11, an incident that really shook the world. And before we dive into the stories, we have a clip that takes us back to 2001. Let us fill the hearts of world citizens with love and peace. September 12, 2001 21 years ago, Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy visited Washington, D.C. as ambassadors of peace and goodwill. The Mayor of the District of Columbia does hereby proclaim March 22, 2000 as Tai Chi Men Qigong Academy Day in Washington, D.C. And we welcome these international ambassadors of peace and goodwill. 21 years later, members of Tai Chi Men Qigong Academy returned to Washington, D.C. to seek justice and raise international awareness of their situation. Tai Chi Men Qigong Academy is a spiritual group with various academies in Taiwan and the U.S. The group strongly believes that they are being persecuted in democratic Taiwan through a tax evasion indictment beginning in 1996 that reached Taiwan's Supreme Court. Back in time 20 years ago, when everyone was escaping, Dr. Hong kept his promise and led his deeds there to bring peace, harmony, and become the power of stability. 
and they even held a bell ring ceremony, wishing that to ring the bell of peace, all deceased and living beings could rest and live in peace. And that's exactly what the people needed at that time during the pandemic. These years, they never stopped working, promoting the culture of conscience, love, and peace for decades. Conscience is really important. It tells the right from wrong, true from false, and guides us to the right path in life. And now I would like to invite everyone to take a group photo. And first, let's just hold up our right hand as a fist, which represents our conscience. And then put your left hand on your right hand, cover it, which symbolizes to protect your conscience. And then put it in front of your heart, in front of your chest. And show me your facial expressions full of love and peace. And okay, I'll say one, two, three, and let, let's say conscience. Okay, one, two, three, conscience. Okay, thank you. And let's all protect our conscience to make the world a better place. At the beginning, I would like to invite dear friends in front of the screen watching this online webinar to share the link with your friends. And today, celebrating the month of love and peace, we've gathered together many youngsters regarding their own experiences of Tai Chi men, tax case, and justices. So next, I would like to invite our first keynote speaker, Ms. Lin. Thank you, Lillian. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Lin, and I'm a brand designer in a tech company. 20 years ago, a tragedy struck upon New York. The whole world watched as the terrorists hijacked four U.S. commercial planes and crashed them into two New York skyscrapers, taking thousands of innocent lives. There were police cars and troops everywhere in New York, as if war had struck New York. People were distraught and uncertain about the situation and what was to come. When the United States was in a state of panic and everyone wanted to flee, my shifu, Dr. Hong, and my brothers and sisters who were invited to the 54th United Nation and GODPI annual meeting steadied their hearts and rang the bell of peace and love to soothe the people's hearts, honor the fallen, and wish the deceased to rest in peace. This is the mentality of Ms. Shifu, Dr. Hong, who has dedicated his life to spreading peace to all corners of the world. We are Tai Chi Man Diti. We follow our Shifu, Dr. Hong, to travel across the globe, spreading his messages of love and peace. In 1999, we embarked upon our global journey towards our dream of a planet without war and with its citizens being able to live fruitful lives in peace. Every time when I reminisce about our first stop in Seattle 1999, I first remember how we participated in the Seattle Sea Fair Torchlight Parade, spreading Taiwanese culture and simultaneously exchanging wisdom with people from all over. As people shouted, I love Taiwan! I love Tai Chi Men! I feel really touched and honored to represent my country and Tai Chi Men on the global stage. Through every cultural exchange, we hope to show the world the beauty of Taiwan and the radiance of its people. For more than 20 years, we've traveled to 101 countries and hope that through our exchanges, we can bring the flames of love and peace to ignite the hearts of people and inspire them to become the change to create a brighter future. Tai Chi Men, an international NGO, also an ancient Menpai with deeply ingrained cultural roots with Qigong practitioners. Through Tai Chi Men, I had the opportunity to learn Qigong and become mentally and physically healthier. In addition, I am able to follow my Shifu, Dr. Hong, to attend the International Conference of Chief Justices of the World in India, alongside numerous cultural exchanges all over the world to spread the seeds of love and peace. I've grown so much from experiences such as hosting large events and working as an international reporter interviewing heads of states. For decades, we have never stopped preaching peace. Yet, we have, ourselves, 
become victims of a political purge, stripping us of the fundamental values of freedom of religious belief and basic human rights demanded by any modern democracy. The Taijiman case is a fabricated case. A fabricated case starts with fake evidence. Prosecutor Ho single-handedly manufactured evidence with no basis in fact or logic. He was evidently motivated by ulterior motives rather than the pursuit of justice. Even with that, the Taiwan Supreme Court returned the verdict stating that Tai Jiman is not guilty of tax evasion or any other fraudulent charges. However, the National Tax Taxation Bureau and the Ministry of Finance refused to revoke the tax bill, even after investigations by the legislature and agreeing to a resolution within two months. The National Taxation Bureau reneged on their promise and went further to illegally auction off the sacred land of Taijiwen. Through this breakdown in the judicial process and the lack of integrity of the tax bureau, the land was illegally confiscated, confiscated into state ownership. How dare the rogue government officials close up their conscience and deny the people a semblance of a due process? How will the people of Taiwan live if a Supreme Court of Taiwan is unable to protect them from corrupt government officials? I was disheartened by the abuse of power in my country and the rampant and unchecked government officials. I desire change. I desire a better system. As a dutiful citizen, I am proud to be part of the movement to substantially reform the tax and legal system. Dr. Hong continues to teach us to love our country. This is why even when faced with injustice, we could continue to peacefully protest to call for the government to act conscientiously and with the people's interests in mind. Through our quest to redress the Taijiman case, I can finally comprehend that our push for tax and legal reform is a cry for love and peace in our country as we wish to awaken the conscience of the officials. If we were acting selfishly, we couldn't have persevered through these arduous 25 years. It is because of our 25 years of continuous suffering that gives us the courage to march forward and fight for the country's unheard victims of Taiwan so that future generations can live in a country where no one will have to endure such injustice again. I hope that in the future, Taiwan's democracy will become a beacon of hope for the world, showing that the blood, sweat, and tears of past generations had brought forth a paradise. 20 years ago, we were in the front lines of the tragic 911 incident and stayed to ensure that our messages of peace can bring stability to the hearts of people in turbulent times. 20 years later, we are not only still fighting for love and peace, but for our own justice as well, for legal taxation, for freedom of religious belief, and for human rights. I call upon President Xiao Ying to immediately reject the fabricated Taijiman case, which has lasted for 25 years. Through these 25 years, your people have had to fight for their fundamental rights through rain or shine. Yet, the voices of the people have yet been heard. We hope that you can reinstill faith in the Taiwanese democracy so that people do not live in a constant state of fear, dreading the abuses of rogue government officials. A democracy should be of the people, by the people, and for the people. My sincere wish is for the elderly see justice delivered before they pass, and for the young to grow up in a world not of chaos, but one where they can realize their hopes and dreams in Taiwan and lead us into a brighter, fairer, and more prosperous era. Thank you. Thank you, Lin. I can really feel how much Dr. Ong and his deeds love the country, promoting love and peace throughout the world. 
It really seems ironic that behind this great love, they still have to suffer from the injustice of the government for more than 25 years, standing in the streets protesting to try and win back their human rights. And next, I would like to invite the next speaker, Ms. Judy Lo. Thank you, Lillian. Dear friends online, good evening. With my master's degree in psychology at the University of London and the knowledge of yin and yang philosophy I've learned from Dr. Hong, Tai Chi Man Zhang Men Ren for 30 years. Today, I would like to share with you why I think a government which uphold human rights is important. Only by implementing transitional justice, Taiwan can be recognized internationally as a democratic country which respects human rights. I'm one of the victims suffer from the abuse of state power. I'm one of the Tai Chi Man Dizi, and Tai Chi Man is my second home. My Tai Chi Man Shifu teaches us not to take revenge on someone who hurts us. And as Taiwanese citizens, it's our duty to love our family, Taiwan, and the world. Therefore, in the past few years, I have followed Shifu to promote love and peace and Taiwanese culture around the world. I remember that there was a time we sang a love and peace song at the 911 Memorial South Pole. At that moment, I feel so touching because I appreciate that I can promote love and peace through the song to the world and hope that conscience can really deep in our heart to prevent this kind of tragedy happen again. In the meanwhile, we've shown the world how beautiful our culture is. Even the current Taiwan's President Tsai presses Tai Chi Man is act actively marching toward the world under the leadership of Dr. Hong. They have promoted Taiwan's dip diplomacy and enhanced Taiwan's international recognition. Our overseas performance audience were shouting passionately, we love Taiwan. I feel honored as a Taiwanese at the moment. And I was sure to show Taiwan to the world. On it specifically, in 1996, persecutor Ho Kuan Ren accused Tai Chi Man Shifu of raising goblins and prosecuted Tai Chi Man illegally. From then on, I was treated like a freak. Can you imagine how many Tai Chi Man did suffer from the misunderstanding by relatives and friends and their family were destroyed eventually? We finally received the third judicial verdict to confirm that we were not guilty, had no tax fraud and no tax evasion after 10 years. For 25 years, the National Taxation Bureau has never stopped persecuting Tai Chi men. They worked together with the administrative enforcement agencies in August last year and illegally auctioned the land bought for Tai Chi Man Dojo. Taiwan seems to be democratic, but in fact, few illegal and abusive officials have disrupted democracy. Even foreign scholars can see it. Island Barker, an emeritus member of the London School of Economies, feels unbelievable that Tai Chi Man can still exist after more than 300 legislators have spoken out for them. Why didn't the change happen? The answer was clear, bureaucracy. She believes that few people have been hijacking the entire government. People say that boycotting the defect of national government agency is a patriotic behavior. I shall stand up and dedicate myself to Taiwan's legal and tax reforms. Justice can simply be implemented through our conscience. When I was studying psychology, I saw a research conducted by the Infant Cognition Center of Yale University in 2010. 
Researchers use three stuffed animals to play a simple skit in front of infants. A stuffed puppy was trying to open a box with the help from a brown stuffed bear. He succeeded and was happy. The second experiment was that when the stuffed puppy tried to open the box, a great bear, stuffed puppy, stuffed bear, went against him and kept the box closed. After the performance, the stuffed animal was brought to the infant. The infants tend to choose a brown bear, which help others, rather than gray bear, which hinder others. This experiment shows human natural prefer righteous no one. And this is the reason why, as Mark Respinti, director in charge of Bitter Winter Magazine said, everyone should support Tai Chi Man because we are fighting for the indispensable human rights. I believe that we have a government of justice. So I hereby call on our government to show your righteousness, immediately revoke the illegal test bill against Tai Chi Man, return the illegal auction lands, and punish the illegal officials. Build for the citizen and affluence society of love and peace and well-being. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Judy. It's extremely important in a democratic society for decisions to be made based upon evidence, facts, and the truth. When government officials are allowed to fabricate or create a false narrative around an individual or organization without consequences, no one's human rights or civil liberties will be safe. And next, I would like to invite our next speaker, Mitchell. Hello everyone, I hope everyone is well. My name is Mitchell, I'm 16 years old, currently a senior in high school. I'm happy to speak today to celebrate the month of love and peace. There's a couple things I wanna, I'm going to talk about today. First, I wanna commemorate the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. And second, I'm going to talk about the Taiji Men's tax case. To commemorate the 20th anniversary of the September 11th attacks, I will share a story that my mom told me. On September 11th, 2001, my mom and a team of around 30 Dizu were preparing, to, um, preparing the Aloha Parade in Hawaii. They were in Hawaii setting everything up, the lights, the hotel, the food, the speakers, inviting guests, etc. My mom heard about the attacks and everyone was worried about my Sifu and Simu and the Dizu that were in New York at the time. The news came out that Pearl Harbor was the next target of, um, of the attacks. The parade was canceled. And at this moment, every Dizu's heart aligned with Sifu's heart. Everyone understood that this was a, not the time to flee the dangerous situation, but rather a time to spread love and peace, to comfort the fearful people and stabilize the shaken world. My Sifu quickly sprang into action and held a four hour bell ringing ceremony on, on Manhattan TV. My Sifu invited um, United Nations ambassadors and leaders from all walks of life to ring the bell of peace. Back in Hawaii, my mom and other Dizu invited local religious leaders and representatives to participate in the upcoming Back to the Origin performance and blessing ceremony at the Ro Theater Royal on September 16th. The original plan was to have the Dizu from New York to, f to fly to Hawaii and have around 500 Dizu from Taiwan to fly to Hawaii. But the attacks made flying very difficult, rightfully so. A nationwide traumatic event just happened involving airplanes. The Dizu could only wait. The days passed and in the end, the Dizu from Taiwan could not go to Hawaii. My Sifu and Simu arrived just hours before the Back to the Origin performance was going to start. There were less than 50 deeds and they needed to complete a 500 person performance. Incredible how they pulled it off. After the performance, the mayor of Honolulu, Mr. He Li Shi, admired and appreciated Sifu's commitment and selfless love for everyone during the difficult times, regardless of his own safety. To show his gratitude, 
Mr. Holly Shi awarded Sifu, the honorary citizen of Honolulu, and announced September 16th, 2001, as Taiji Men Chigo Academy Day and Dr. Hong Daoji Day. The following year in 2002, Taiji Men visited New York once again to participate in the UN General Assembly in September. My mom said that she remembered September 10th, 2002 as a beautiful sunny day, but on the 11th, the sky was gloomy and the howling wind gave people goosebumps. My mom believes that this was a bad omen the souls lost on September 11th, 2001, were angry. Now, how does this relate to Taijiman's ongoing case? Personally, I think the connection is that the souls that tragically died on September 11th are full of resentment, just like how Taijiman is full of resentment towards Prosecutor Ho for fabricating a fake bill in 1996. However, even with angers in our hearts, we still keep everything peaceful. Um, we do not wish for violence. All we want is for the officials to find their conscience and fix their mistake. My great grandmother was, uh, along with other elderly brothers and sisters, or these, put in a great amount of effort to protest the injustice as well. But they passed away with the sadness of not seeing the case be resolved. My great grandmother was 104 when she passed. In the summer of last year, I spoke out at the administrative executive office several times to express my frustration towards the government. And today I do the same. A quarter of a century has passed. Our money, property, and time has been taken from us. We are tired of it. We want our human rights and property back. I want to end with something my Sifu and Simu taught me. Love is, pe love is possible through conscience. Human rights are possible through love. And peace is possible through human rights. Everything roots back to conscience. If the officials find their conscience, they will be more loving. They won't violate human rights. And they can instill peace in Taiwan. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mitchell. It's really sad to hear that even 20 years have passed, injustice and war still continue to occur. Regrettably, no one could bring back the lives lost in the 911 attack, as if no one could return anything to Tai Chi Men. But fortunately, this spirit of love and peace is still passed on from generation to generation. And next, we would like to share a rock song with you about the truth of the Taijiman case, and let's enjoy this song. <laughs> The 
At last, we sincerely hope that the Taiwanese government will provide justice and fairness to the Taijiman case, address the national problems, truly resolve it, and finally return the freedom of faith and human rights to the Taijiman Shifu and its states. I would like to ask all dear friends to concern more about the Taijiman case, and more importantly, share this video link with your friends. We want to let everyone know it's not just about Tai Chi men, but this is about a group of people fighting for human rights and for justice. And I believe with our efforts, bit by bit, a world full of love and peace will definitely come true. If you like this video, please like and click on the button below to subscribe us. And thank you for your participating. <laughs>